Yeah, YouTubers, Taz man here bringing you another episode of Lindara's Adventures in the Dragon Isles. And in the, excuse me, in the last episode, we got this quest to deliver this Artisan's Consortium invoice to this gentleman right here. So we're going to go ahead and continue on where, from where we left off. Good day to you. Safe travels. I can already tell my voice is itchy and it's going to be hard to read all these things. I you were recording. Uh. Uh, alright, so. Oh, excellent. I've been meaning to fetch from this. Uh, what is that? Hapistus? <laughs> hey, Hepista. Thanks, Lindara. See you later. Lindara, could you do me a favor? I want to get a gift for my husband, Miguel. He means so much to me, but I've been so busy lately that I haven't had time to make him anything. Could you help me make him something uh, high quality? Talk to Thomas about qu about quality, then gather five or three... <laughs> Three fiery spirits near Horn, Swan, Horn Swag Hollow for Miguel's gift. Okay. Have a good so one. we need to go talk to. Talk to him, I guess. The difference, the different regents um, can have varying qualities. So you can see there's like a little copper, a little gold color, and a little silver. Maybe you've seen this already. Uh, the same, uh, the same or herb or 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 <laughs> can be normal quality, which is that, or really excellent, which is like these three diamonds, or I guess not diamonds. I guess they're gold diamonds, something like that. The regent uh, quality you gather is based on your skill as a gatherer. As you become skilled in gathering, you will tend to find higher quality regents more often the higher quality regents uh, makes a better finished product so please find me the highest quality materials you can for Miguel's gift what do you want to give him oh I want to give him the world but impossi impossibilities aside I want something that shows him my enduring love there are some elementals not not too far from here, over near Hornswang Hollow. Those spirited energy embodies my passion for him. Could you gather some of their spirited energy for me? Sure. So I See go back to him. Is That that you? was both things. So we need to go get have three face spirits. But we also have some other quests here. Let's make sure we have number three. Activate the mysterious glyph and retrieve the time capsule. And if I'm right, that's actually where is that one? This one. If I'm right, that's actually down in this pit, and we need to take. I think there's an elevator. Now, have we got any higher quality stuff yet? We got uh, quality copper, I guess. We got three copper things. So as we learn new stuff, we'll be able to get higher quality. Yeah, we need to go down there. That's what it is. And I, I believe there's an elevator, but we can actually glide down there. This feels so slow. How fast am I going? 100 speed. Yeah, see, there's this ferry, I believe. Do we talk to him? No. Can we? Actually, maybe we do. Hello? Alright, well, let's get off our mount. And we'll just fly down. It's going to take us a while. <laughs> quite a while. Look, there's a dragon down there and some smaller ones and a lot of whelplings 
and a dead body. This must have been someone that just jumped down. Nope. Alright, so we need to go over here. Oh, is it this? The mysterious glyph. Alright, and then we need to retrieve a time capsule. I don't remember this quest. Where did it say... You guys seen the time capsule? New. No. Seems like it's over here. Do we talk to these guys? We serve life. Life finder be yeah, with you. I think so. Oh, it's right there in front of us. It actually appeared. So now I believe, I think that's who we, is that who we talked? Yeah, that's the fairy. Now I don't know how we get down here though. I guess when he takes us back up, we will learn. Our fire I'd like to go to the Ruby Life Shrine, please. Alright, so where's he take us? Right here. So I wonder where the fairy down is. Alright, well we've done that, so now we can go turn that in, and then we just have, actually we have a lot of quests to turn in it looks like. But one is, we get to learn how to, I think it's fly on our mount, which is pretty cool. Oh uh, wait, am I going the right way? Uh, I think so. <laughs> this is to turn this one in. And it's, it's saying it's down there. But I think, I don't, I think we have a quest to do here though, still. So we'll hurry and grab that one. I think it's over here. Oh, we never turned in this dude? Alright, let's turn in this dude since he's so sad and talked with us oh we're giving him the time capsule okay uh thank you young one you have given me a lot to think about it seems like i put this in i put this in the time capsule i don't think i have much use for it anymore maybe it's useful for you Ooh, check that out renown titan relic treasure drops unlocked so, uh, one thing I keep forgetting is we have this Dragon Isle summary thing, and I think we might have, we have level 2 there, almost level 1 here, but if you go look at these, it shows you things that you've actually unlocked and what they do. So, for example, when we were level 1 here, uh, earning reputation will fill the spire once you, once full you will gain renown level and unlock a reward. So I don't know where the reward is. So that's just the beginning. This you may find Titan relics from Titan Dragon. Uh, whoops, from Titan. Uh, Dragon of Primalist treasures to increase your standing with the Valdrekin Accord. Bring them to Sorotus on the outer edge of the Obsidian Enclave. And then we have this. Seek out Unatos in Valdraken to receive a small Valdraken Accord supply pack. Now, we haven't even got there yet. Earning reputation, we already read that one. Uh, let's go and close that and look what we're getting here. So we finished this one and we're almost to level two, it looks like. So you may now find expedition scout packs around the Dragon Isles. Speak with Pathfinder Jeb in the Dragon Scale base camp for more details. And this is what we are... Oh no, we haven't got that yet. We have begun our adventure. Okay, so we don't... I thought we had more stuff. Uh, but I think this might be... I think we've already done this. No, we have seven. I think. Is that how this works? Unlock new skills by completing Dragon Isles campaign quests. Uh, find glyphs and fly through them to earn points to spend track skill. So... I don't think we have any points to do right now, right? 
no, I'm not clicking anything. I think, we, if I remember right, we have to go talk to someone. So that's that. Let's go ahead and see what this circle's all about. Speak with Lord Andestraz. Is that this guy? It show sure is. How fair the winds today? Oh, this is the dragon riding guy. Fair Skullcum. I'm glad you are ready to explore our This is the guy skies. I was looking for. He now goes our over to the edge and teaches us. The skies of the Dragon Isles once more, and for you to provide an extra set of eyes to help them. This is dragon riding. First, you will learn how to him. glide with a drake and move efficiently about the peaks. Come, let no, us get started with some quick lessons. This is the trainer. So this will make it so we can actually ride our little uh, Drake and fly him and stuff. I think. I don't think we can do that yet, uh, can we? Quarter good wind All right. Lately. So let us get started. Do not worry about the fancy maneuvers. Uh, the fancy maneuvers will come later. The following will be cast on you: dragon riding. Keep your feet off the ground. Bam! We got dragon riding. Uh, let's start with the basics. If you fly straight. You'll you'll wear yourself out right now. Use gravity and then aid and aim slightly down to fly along uh, fly long distances or long distance. The rings will give you the general angle that you should use for basic gliding. First, call upon your Drake, then fly through the rings and land at the target location. If you find yourself stuck, use the bronze timepiece and Selormu will reset you. Glide through the rings and land in the targeted area. See you up. Call All upon right, your so Drake we want our then drop off the edge while Drake moving here. forward. You will glide to your this. destination. Oh, there we go. What is this? What's a mine? Alright, so we did that. We'll go finish up here. Now that actually gave us... Oh, they're all copper coins or whatever. Uh, where am I putting them in here? I did it! Uh, wait, when you just over there? Yes. Alright, excellent work. He teleports us back. Now we get to do the next next step. The sky cools. Gliding will get you where you want to go, but what if you want to get there faster? Diving after jumping from somewhere high will give you a speed boost. Fly through the rings to target to the target location. If you find yourself stuck, use the bronze timepiece and and Celeromu will reset you. All right, so let's do that. Keep your feet up. As you aim for the ground, you'll pick up speed. One of these Use this to fly threw faster, me off because to reach your you actually had to look like straight up to see part of it. All right, let's go ahead and close this. Close this. Do this. I don't know where I'm going. I got lost. Oh, do I still have my speed things? Uh, I think I do. Uh, let's hit two. I missed one of them. Dang it! Alright, we're okay. We recovered. Okay, we had a rough time that time because I got lost. <laughs> but we did okay. Teleportation time. There we go. We totally nailed it. It was really ah, easy. Caught a good wind stream lately. Now, what if there's an obstacle in your way? As long as you fly well, you can conserve your momentum. Oops. You can conserve your momentum and gain some height after a dive. When you dive this time, you'll find your flight path takes you below the landing area. By using your momentum, you can regain lost height at the end of the course to still land in the targeted area. If you find yourself stuck, blah blah blah. Okay. Sky, you are doing so this no Finally, this is not the one. So I need to give you go enough speed to rise here. up and over to a higher spot. 
Use your so momentum to reach your there. destination. So we're below. But then we come up last second. Oh, we nailed that one. Alright, go ahead and turn that one in. That's the surge for what was this the ascend okay so that's forward faster that's up. Alright, so let's go ahead talk the to him again. Cools. Those are the basics of riding a Drake. You're doing quite well. Now I would like to introduce you to some of the others involved in this adventure. We have made a home for ourselves over at the Skytop Observatory. <laughs> I cannot say that guy's name. Seller Moo will be able to help guide you there. Speak to him when you're when you feel ready to take to the skies. See you there. All right, so we'll do See that. You up there. Talk you to have a bright where future. Going. All right, where is he going? He's right here. Allow me to illuminate the way uh, to the Skytop Observatory for you. And if I might offer some wisdom to help you on your journey, diving downward will increase your speed and passing through green orbs will replenish your vigor. Uh, you will need to use Skyward Ascent, which is our number two, uh, to go upward multiple times. So in those, as you can see, this uses one vigor, that uses one vigor. These are our vigor. We only have three. So let's go ahead and try it. Come to the Skytop Observatory. I will introduce you to others who can provide you with information going? about right the other wondrous things you may do with your Drake. Can I just run? Yes. Okay. Woo! All right. So two is what I'll need to go back up. So that makes us. Oh, that went fast. I didn't need it. I might not have needed that one. Is that it? Alright, nice, we did it. Um, alright, let's see. So we need to go up here. Do -ba -do -ba -do. I think I need to usually zoom way out when I'm... Am I missing something? Yeah, I think I need to go up there. Uh, let's go up the dirt dirt path. So it's up here. So he's going to have us do it. But over there we can customize our drakes so that you, there's lots of customizations that you can unlock. You can find like little floating discs. Uh, Kind of like the coins in Mario, um, up above mountains and stuff like that, so that you can actually get more points. How fair the winds today! I suppose I was so eager to show you our uh, foundation here. I may have flown a bit too fast. My apologies. There is not much to look at for the moment, as it has been a long time since someone inhabited these terraces. However, we will make them our home once again. Now, let us introduce you to everyone. Fair skies and strong wind. Just as mortals uh, do, dragons care very much about their appearance. Your drake is able to change as well, according to what you find and experience. Speak to Glensera at the Rostrum of Transformation and see for yourself. So we're going to meet her. See, Lancera oversees the Rostrum of Transformation. Whee! Talk to her about how your dragon can adapt to new, Thug. unique forms. Well then. Alright, good day, Dragon Rider. Ready to learn more about how to make your dragon unique? How do I customize? Tell me more about the Rostrum. Ah, uh, sure. As you explore the Dragon Isles and beyond, you will find different items that will impact the appearance of your drake. Once you have used those items, the options, or yeah, once you've used those items, the options uh, will appear as available to you in the Rostrum of Transformation. 
Let's talk about something else. Uh, the Rossmer transformation is where you may select different appearance for your drake based on what you have seen and discovered in the Dry Niles. Every one of your every one of our outposts will have a rostrum if you wish uh, to return and choose a new look. All right, so that's her. Now, so what we want to do, I thought she daughter. gave us a quest, but I think if we go on this and click on it, boom. So we can see what kind of things we can do. So we have full transformation, none. Storm eater, we can't actually do yet. It's still locked. So we'll just see if we have any options. Skin color, it looks like we can. Uh, we're kind of purple. Maybe do the blue. Oh, that's all locked. Everything's locked. Dang it. Light and heavy, that's all locked. Uh, we have different patterns for our wings. That's all locked. Horns! Hey, we have some. We can do... Oh, we actually have a couple. So we have that one. We have the one we are using. We have subtle. We have charger. And we have, I like the curved spike. We'll go ahead and go with that. Uh, horn color. We have two of those. We have kind of this. I really don't see much of a change. Between, I mean, that's more, I guess, of a yellow. And then horn style. We have light and heavy, but we don't have that unlocked. So in here, on our tail, if we swivel around, we can have bear, we can have spiked, which looks pretty cool, and we can have spined. We got like spiked. Uh, our throat looks like everything's locked. Saddle, we just get a regular saddle. Oh, the armor looks kind of nice. And then the colors for the armor looks like we don't have anything there. Uh, then we can go here. We can do our snout. Right now we're toothy. We could do razor. Toothy. Kind of like the razor. Uh, we also have crest. So we have spiked. So this is our forehead ish. We have plated, spiked, finned. I think the fin looks a little goofy. The horn. I think that looks goofy too. Kind of like the spikes. Uh, we have our jaw. We have a hairy jaw. We have broad spikes. We still have a spiky head, man. Uh, our brow. Looks like we have thick spikes. I think we're going to leave it bare. I think we're getting a lot of spikes up there. Hair color. We only have gray right now. Or blackish. Uh, eyesight. We actually can unlock all of these. So we have... I don't know if we get a spot where we can see... Eyesight, both, nether, right, left, or neither, not both, sorry. So that's to change their colors. Uh, looks like all the colors are available. Uh, I think that looks cool. And then how do we want, can we zoom in? We can't zoom in. So you can barely see that's where we have either the slit, glow, or the kind of cross. Let's do glow. And I think that is all our options for this guy. So once we do that, now our dragon becomes a little bit more our very own. So I guess I was expecting her to Charmed. Go. give us a quest, but I guess, or did I, did I accept it? Maybe I didn't accept it or something. I don't know. Let's go double check. And I guess he just said go talk to her. Oh yeah, he has the turn in. Alright, let's go turn it in. Get that back up to 60 minutes. Ah, caught a good wind string. Ah, as you explore the Dragon Isles, you will discover even more of her, uh, varied unique appearances for your dragon riding companion. Both of you shall be able to travel in style, as one must. When exploring a new land, how else do you make the best the best first impression? So he's going to cast that on us. Keep your feet off the ground. So these are the coins that are floating above areas. I guess it's not just Glencera and myself that are invested in the in these adventures. 
Lynn <laughs> Lynn Tragosa is also excited to me uh, help you hone your dragon riding skills and you have already met oh, the guy I can't say Claire Clermu which is excellent there are glyphs around the dragon isles that will help you learn more tricks and abilities for dragon uh, dragon riding in fact there is one right here in Skytop Observatory. Once you find it, Lithragosa can help you use it. So we're going to collect See it and if I remember it's just like right. But there is another here who can also teach you about it's your like drink. right by where we were. And yeah, 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 yeah. It's right there. Is that, wait, is that it? That one's not glowing, is it? Count wide. I don't know. Let's get on our dragon. We'll go get it. See if it counts. See, I think we already got this on another, on another character, so it doesn't count. But it says it's down, so maybe I'm thinking of a different one. I don't see it. Is it in here? I think Our flight has huh. much to offer. Welcome to the Isles. Are you ready to learn more about finer skills of dragon riding? Tell me about how I can get better at dragon riding. Practice! Uh, look for dragon glyphs in the sky to gain more skills in dragon riding. As you collect them, I will be able to teach you more skills and abilities. Do not worry. Some of these may be hard to reach at first. Try exploring as much of the dragon isles as you can to gain power. If you have trouble getting to them, to see what you can learn, speak to me at any of our outposts. Uh, let's see, I'm ready. Open dragon riding skills. So see, this is saying seven. This must be across accounts. And it's already doing these ones. But I thought I had four of those now. Click to learn. Oh no, these say click to learn. So this costs one. This increases our vig uh, vigor to four. Okay, this is where we do this. Uh, let's see, while moving at low speed, search forward. Effectiveness is increased up to 125%. Decreasing speed as speed increases. Uh, your vigor generation rate is accelerated. One vigor of 25 seconds while grounded. Soar's cooldown is decreased by 40 seconds while in the Dragon Isles. That's actually really good. Um, Thrill of the Skies generates one vigor every Thrill of the Skies. I think that's the one where while you're flying you get it. So we can get two of these. I think getting vigor up is, is what I want to lean towards. Now we're at zero. I'm just wondering why is achievement together in the skies? So these unlock. Have we got any of these things while we've just been flying ourselves? I don't remember. All right, so that's that. Let's talk to her again. Uh, I heard something about helping my fellow adventurers. Oh, this makes it so that someone can ride on Come see your... me again. So basically, if I'm right, now we... we will not if our if history. we're in the Dragon Isles, we can actually have someone ride with us. Go in wisdom. Alright, so that's that. Let's go talk to this guy again. We're, we're at 30 minutes. That's way longer than I want this to go. So I think... We'll go back up here. And talk to the guy whose name I can't ever say. Actually, he's not up here. He's down here. Actually, I think maybe when we get to him, we'll go ahead and call it good for this episode. Yeah. 
All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Aside from that, comment, like, subscribe, click that little notification bell. Follow me on Twitter, check out my Discord and my other channels, and don't forget to tell other people about my channel. Come check it out. If they like what they see, they can sub. We grow the channel, everyone wins. And that is it, my friends. Until next time, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.